St. Benedict is known as the father of Western monasticism. The rule of St. Benedict has been handed down through 16 centuries and is still followed by hundreds of monastic communities throughout the world. His spirit has shaped the church and the modern world. St. Domneva, the first abbess of Minster, was the great-granddaughter of King Ethelbert of Kent. The name Minster is derived from the first monastery, built in 670 on the site of the parish church of St. Mary the Virgin, which is situated a few hundred yards from the site of Minster Abbey. St. Mildred became the second abbess. She was consecrated by St. Theodore, the fifth Archbishop of Canterbury. Soon after her death, on the 13th of July, 725, people started coming on pilgrimage to her tomb. The veneration of St. Mildred spread all over Europe. Monastic life at Minster Abbey continued for over 700 years. During the English Reformation, the monastic community was expelled from the abbey. The monastery buildings fell to the crown and were sold into private hands. In 1937, the Benedictine community of St. Walburga in Bavaria re-established Benedictine monastic life at Minster Abbey. Once again, the Abbey became a place of prayer and dedication to God. In monastic life, a person discovers how to love God with their whole being. One's heart is gradually being transformed into the likeness of God.
On August the 27th, 1987, the Abbey Chapel was destroyed by fire. The present chapel, dedicated to Our Lady and St Andrew, was dedicated in 1993. The monastic life is rooted in prayer and the monastic day is focused around prayer. The daily celebration of the Eucharist is the source and summit of our lives. St. Benedict tells us that we should prefer nothing to the work of God. We gather together to sing the Divine Office seven times a day. The Benedictine vows of stability, the monastic way of life, and obedience invite us to listen with open hearts to the voice of the Lord who is calling us. The rule of St. Benedict provides us with a framework for following the Gospel in the simplicity of the monastic life. He invites us, in the words of Jesus, to serve one another in love. We are reminded, in the words of Jean Vanier, that every human activity can be put at the service of the divine and of love. The prioress is like the good shepherd. She is believed to hold the place of Christ in the community.
Hospitality is a special charism of the Benedictine life. St. Benedict encourages us with the words that all guests who come to the monastery should be welcomed as Christ himself. Our whole lives are meant to give glory to God, our Creator. The beauty of the world around us helps us to experience God's healing love. In the prologue to the rule, St. Benedict sets before his community a vision inspired by love. See how the Lord in his love shows us the way of life. This then is the zeal we must practice with fervent love. We should each be the first to show respect to the other. As we progress in this way of life, we shall run on the path of God's commandments, our hearts overflowing with the inexpressible delight of love. Thank you. 